know YouTube, so I wanted to get on here to say something real quick. Um, so I don't really have a page. I'm not really a YouTuber. I'm not really into the influencing scene. I don't want to be. Um, but I spent $50 or $100 on a game that I probably shouldn't have bought. And the reason why you clicked on this video is because you have been shammed too. Um, so this video is going to be basically a breakdown on how to get your money back because we've been scammed. And the person who's been scamming us is buying chains of Nipsey Hustle, houses, schools, all of this stuff. And it's nowhere to be found. Our item that we bought with our hard earn working class money, right? So boom. Uh, I followed this guy on Instagram named Derek Grace 2. And I've been following him since his daughter went viral on Facebook, Instagram, all social media platforms because watching a little black girl six years, five years old shooting a gun is something that is very fucking interesting. Like, seeing girl power like that is something that I can relate to and I've definitely loved that aspect of who he was as a father figure. Um, so, as we all know, social media and, um, and influencers are basically portraying a life that might not necessarily be true or real, right? So, he is portraying this thing that... Um, as natural black people who want to see black people thrive, fell in love with. And don't feel bad because I fell in love with it too. So he started to promote this, um, this inboard banking home, in home banking board game around like December-ish. And the board game was basically promoted on his social media to be this item that can get him um, that he, that you can have fun with your family. If you have children, you can raise beautiful, independent, strong, um, children like Derricka Grace. Um, you are presented with the idea that this is something that will be a life changer. It's a one in a lifetime thing. He's never going to sell it again. Once it's out, it's out. Buy it now kind of thing. Right? So I was like, damn, I really want to get the game, you know, fell for the hype. We all did, okay? And this, it's crazy because for a second, I kind of sat with myself and I was like, you know what, Monica? This is a black man who is a father, who has children, who is doing something better for the culture. I believed in him. And because he was that idea, because he was who he was, I was like, you know what? Even if I don't get this board game, yo, I'm, I'm so fucking happy that I, I gave my $50 to someone who deserved it. Someone who had a family to feed. But my thing is, you are selling an item to people who already don't have. People who believe in you and your idea. People who believe in what you are showing, what you are making people... You as a power, as you you as an influencer, blah, have a lot of power. And you're taking out of mouths people who already don't have. This is a fact. Because the the audience that you are that you're getting are people who have hope because of the situations that they're in. And you're you're saying they don't need us, we need them, but you need us too. Because you wouldn't be where you are without your followers. And that, as a leader, is something you should understand. Um, the reason why I decided to go forward with getting my money back is because I can't respect someone who is going to make someone who already doesn't have it feel like $50 isn't a lot. When in fact it is to someone who doesn't have it. Someone who got, literally spent the $50 because they believed that your game would help them to create more. A game that they never got. That is something that really disheartened me as a customer. Um, I believe in black businesses. I, I want to be a black business owner one day. I think we all do. You know, it's definitely something that we need to change. Definitely a game that we need to have. Something that we need to learn as a culture. But my thing is when you have a following, when you have an influence on a, such a number of people, half a million people, and you're not using it correctly. 
and you're using it only for your, the benefit of you and your family and you're not giving the people what you're saying that you're going to give them for the money that they use because they believe in your dream, but your dream is, is literally just a dream and nothing more. That's when I have an issue. So I did a little bit of research. I've been contacting him since, uh, all right, so Jan I, boom, I bought the, the game in January. And then in January, after I got the game, I went on his website and he's talking about, you know, how people are so upset that they haven't received their game. He's like, y'all be patient, be patient. It's going to come out um, in, 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 in February. Then he said March. Then um, around March, um, he was like, oh, it's the Chinese New Year and, you know, the vendor that I have producing the game, they not working right now. So y'all gonna have to wait until April. And it just kept, the ball kept rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling. And guess what? Nothing happened. No tracking numbers, no nothing. Then this slick scam artist, I caught on to you. <laughs> I caught on to you. Um... This slick scam artist goes on Instagram and knows that his followers are looking at his page, looking for the item, looking for when it's going to drop, looking for when it's going to release. And he gets on the phone and he's like, all right, y'all, I'm on the phone with PayPal. PayPal said that I can't move them. I can't get the money. I, I can't. So they're not going to release my $70,000 to me unless I could produce tracking numbers, but I can't produce tracking numbers without money. And if you guys bought the game, you watch that like I did. So then he leads us to believe that we ordered the game through PayPal. The scam is we didn't. It's funny because, uh, Mr. Derek Grace, you like, you say a lot of the time that your people, your black, your, your, you know, your group of people don't read. Um, and it's funny because you kind of found one that does. You're a, you're a liar and you're a thief. So. I called, so, all right, let me bring you back, because I'm trying to keep this um, video under 10 minutes. I, I, I reviewed the email, and the email um, that I've been sharing with DerekGrace2.com shows an, e an encryption, right? So if you open the email, at the very top of the email, it will show something that um, is, it'll show that it's encrypted, and I'll insert it below. When you view the security details of the encryption of the email, it's signed. The emails are signed by Shopify.com. Shopify.com is the domain that he's using. It's the, um, the domain of his website. And it, it's a cool website, but my thing is Shopify is out of the country, I, I believe. I'm not too sure. And so there's not a lot of rules around that. So when I called Shopify and I'll um, send a video, I'll post another video after this about my conversation with Shopify so you guys can kind of understand how the conversation is going to go. But the only way that something can be done about this is if there, if everyone who ordered the game contacts Shopify and lets them know of the fraud that happened. Because you're being led to believe that you ordered the game, the game on PayPal, when in actuality, you ordered the game on Shopify. The only thing is that he knows... He he understands that black people don't read fine print, and I work in an industry where fine print is literally how you get over on people. I mean, it's it's sad to say, but fine print, especially people who want an item or buy or buying an item, aren't normally paying attention until they don't get their item. So. The number two Shopify that I contacted, you can open a uh, file a complaint. Um, just pull up the email because after you made the purchase, go back to your old emails. There will be a claim. There will be an order number. You give Shopify your order number and you let them know the date that you ordered. So you might have to go back into your emails from December because, of course, when you order an item online, you get an email. So the number two, Shopify, the domain and the website that you ordered your game from, not PayPal, is 855-816-3857. So you're going to call them and you're going to have a conversation a little bit like this. And I will provide you guys with that uh, video after um, you guys let me know what you want me to do. 
And I really hope everything works out for y'all. Y'all have a good night.